Hey there, Nick to the Hackers here. In this video, we're going to go over how to solve a very specific SSL related issue if you happen to be using an older system that's running OpenSSL 1.0 and you are trying to contact any site that happens to be using Let's Encrypt to issue its SSL certificates. So I just want to give you a quick disclaimer here. If you're running any modern system like Ubuntu 2004 or Debian 10 or Debian 11, then you're good to go. Not even going to have to deal with this problem. So I am running uh, OpenSSL 1.1 here on my Ubuntu 2004 box running on WSL2. Too. So, but yes, if you're running an older version of Debian, which I was running on one of my servers, I, it actually got to the point where I couldn't renew my SSL certificate because throughout the uh, SSL certificate issuing process, I couldn't even download an intermediate certificate from Let's Encrypt to renew my own certificate. So like, Bottom line, like long story short here, if you're running an older system, this may prevent you from being able to renew, renew your certificates. But fortunately, the hotfix is really easy. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to go over in this video. So just want to give you a heads up, though, before we get into the gory details here. Um, let's encrypt a transition to this new ISRG root certificate. And they've been talking about this one since like mid 2019. So they gave us plenty of time to, you know, figure out how to do a workaround. But, uh, you know, we don't need to read really any of this, but here is basically the really important date. So on September 29th, 2021, which at the time of making this video was about two months, two months ago, uh, a very specific root certificate on your server expired. And if you are using an older version of OpenSSL, such as 1.0, then it didn't know what to do. Like it didn't know to go and check this other certificate, this ISRG one instead. And you would end up getting um, basically a certificate uh, expired error anytime you tried to contact any site using Let's Encrypt certificate. So that is basically the situation here. But um, yes, let me run. Uh, I already pre-ran this command before just so we don't have to you know, sit here and wait for this image to be downloaded here. But basically, we can emulate the problem here just by starting a Docker container, running an older version of Debian Jesse, which is going to have uh, the issue here. So the first thing I need to do, though, is run an app get update. And we'll just install curl here because uh, we'll just demonstrate the issue by curling the site, getting the error, then walking through the fix and things like that. Now, I don't know what's going on here, but the networking right now for me is really slow inside this Debian Jesse image. I have no idea why it's so slow. It's interesting because if I use a modern version of Debian or um, basically any other base image, then the networking inside of there is very fast. So something weird is going on. doesn't make sense that it's only isolated to Jesse here, but just letting you know normally this is not uh, this slow. Maybe faster for you by the time that you watch this video. This could be a temporary thing. I'm not really sure. But with that said, I am going to pause the video and I'll meet you back when it's done. All right, and we're done. So I'm just going to clear the screen here, but if I run open SSL version here, we can see that we are running version 1.0. The other one, remember, was 1.1. So this is going to be a system where we have an issue. And if I try to curl something like, you know, letsencrypt.org, just because, you know, they're a site using Let's Encrypt themselves, then we will get this issue here where it says curl certificate problem certificate expired. So, but if I, you know, we're on my desktop machine and you just go to letsencrypt.org, then it is going to work because it's not a problem with letsencrypt.org. It's a problem with this system here. The root certificate is uh, expired. And we can actually check that out by going to Etsy SSL over here. And then I think it is inserts. And if we do, uh, let's see, what do we need to do? Well, we need to run OpenSSL X509, enable. Basically, we're going to. Uh, just check the expiration date of a very specific certificate here. So if we do end date, um, no out. I'm just reading this command, by the way, off camera here, because who's going to remember these flags like realistically? Actually, what am I even doing? Why don't I just take the command and I'll use this thing called copy paste. Very good thing to do once in a while. Um, but this is the name of the certificate right here, DST root CA X3 PEM. So if we do that, we can see that this thing expired on September 30th. That um, looks to be at whatever, 2 p.m. GMT time here. But this is the issue. So the issue is older versions of OpenSSL 1.0, they have the certificate here, but really what we need to do is use this new ISRG root certificate, which doesn't expire until the year 2035. So if we go back to that blog post article here, you know, transition to using this new certificate. And I don't know the exact gory details around this, maybe someone in the comments can, can, can clarify that one, but I think newer versions of OpenSSL, like 1.1 and above, they will understand that the certificate expired and just try the next one in the list. And then the next one in the list works. So like the problem uh, basically self resolves. I don't know if that's 100% accurate, but I do know that, you know, we get this issue here 
and uh, there's a problem. So what we end up needing to do here is actually modify a specific file, basically just by commenting out this value. That's, that's what it comes down to uh, at the end of the day. And I definitely don't wanna take credit for this one because I was Googling around like, let's encrypt. So actually I think the important thing is like, how did I arrive at the answer? So what I ended up doing was I just Googled around for um, let's encrypt SSL certificate problem, like certificate is expired. Like I Googled for something like that with let's encrypt being in the name. And, and by the way, just to, Make this a little bit more clear like if i go to my own site which is you know nickgenatakis.com here then we can see we're getting the same certificate issue that's because my site is using let's encrypt and this would happen for any site using let's encrypt but yeah i, I don't want to take uh, credit for finding out this answer here because uh, when i was googling around i did find uh, a very specific solution here which uh, is very nice to have so you know same exact thing here they're using curl trying to go to whatever website that is happens to be using let's encrypt i would imagine getting the same exact error so what do we actually need to do well, if we go and check, take a look here at this Etsy SA certificates file and we grep for uh, X3, you know, th his instructions were very good, right? Like first check if you have the offending um, certificate present. So we can definitely check that. We'll grep that one. Yep, it's inside this file here in this Etsy SA certificates.conf. There it is, right? And then it says the next step is, well, on older releases, at least we have this new ISR uh, G root certificate available most likely. So let's grep for that X1 there and, and see what happens in this case. Cool. So, and by the way, I did all of these steps before I ran it on my server just to make sure they worked. Uh, just because someone says it works, like especially on a production machine, it's a really good idea to actually test these things. And but we can see, you know, we have both certificates. And the real issue is we just need to basically disable this other DST root over here. So we have this one set command here that they provided us that we can copy and paste here. And uh, actually, let me clear my screen just so I'm not blocking anything. Yes, but this set command is going to do an in place edit. It is going to look for lines that start with Mozilla here. And then it's also going to look, you know, for this actually specific DST line, then it's going to substitute that. It's going to just basically comment it out because uh, the exclamation point here, uh, it's pretty interesting. Like this is actually a comment character in the certificate file. So it basically just adds a comment to this one line. And then we can just do, you know, and and to actually update our certificates here. That's a, a separate command that you can run. But once we have all of that done, then if we do a curl to, let's say, uh, my site here, then it is all going to work completely fine. And uh, the fix has been applied. You don't need to restart anything else. Your web server is totally fine. Um, and now you can go and, you know, renew your certificate if you need to, or basically do whatever you, uh, you were doing on your server that uh, required not having that error in place. So once all that's done, then uh, yeah, everything is good to go. So definitely good to know. Um, but, you know, just as a reminder, if you are running an older system, might be a good idea to upgrade to a newer distro where you're just going to have OpenSSL 1.1 where this bug won't be there. But with that said, you know, sometimes uh, in production, you just keep legacy systems running around because the alternative of, of updating them is a little bit harder or maybe you just don't have the time to do it now. Yeah, doesn't matter uh, the excuses, but at least this is a solid fix. Wasn't very hard at all. Just comment that out that one line. Uh, hopefully we're good to go for a while. I think that other expiration date was something like 2035. Maybe there'll be systems in place that will uh, help prevent the issue from being an issue between now and, that, now and then. We have something like 14 years. So on that note, yeah, hope you liked the video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer all of them. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Although apparently now you can't even see thumb down, thumbs down. So I don't know. Thanks for that, YouTube, which I think is a bad move, by the way. But uh, on that note, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.